up everybody it's your coach Andy from fitnessredemption.com and today I'm uh, a little different video obviously I'm doing some driving uh, but I wanted to get this um, made while it was kind of on my mind uh, the other day I was kind of asked by somebody um, you know they were just kind of asking how how I deal with uh, frustrating people um, you know just in life in general really um, but a lot of times like even if you're a coach in your business you know you can you can get frustrated with some people um, but uh, the first thing, the first thing you really got to ask yourself uh, and be aware of is, are you a person that causes frustration? Uh, make sure that you are not, um, you know, you may be constantly frustrated with certain individuals, but, uh, you know, you got to be sure that, you know, you're not uh, one of those people yourself. You know, are you always looking at everything from a negative standpoint and complaining all the time because you're going to, re you know, you're going to reap what you sow. For one, but secondly, just dealing with um, people who um, are always, always down. They're always negative. Um, they never, you know, seem to ever do or want to do what they need to do to change or, um, you know, make a make a. Um, you know, a lot of these people, they 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 seem to, you know, they they're filling themselves with a lot of material stuff. A lot of times, is what they do because they actually push people away because. A lot of times they think they're higher than other people, um, and when they're when you're dealing with people who, who are like that, uh, they they push people away so much to where when they do need help, when they do want help, they won't ask for it. Um, they're not the kind of person that's going to ask for help. So it's just more importantly um, an open door for you to. You know step in and say what you know how can I help you what can I do you have to put that um, take the hat of frustration off and put on the hat of servitude and you have to look at them through a completely different set of eyes um, and I, this sounds funny but kind of what I I've done this and I don't do it all the time obviously but I need to do it more myself and that's just uh, love humanity and you know and it, I kind of heard this in a sermon one time and if, if you ever, you know, when you visualize people, when you're, or when you're talking to people, uh, you see people, you know, in the street, in the, the grocery aisle, whatever, you know, envision a sign above their head that says, you know, um, you know, that they're hurting, that they're in pain, that, you know, they're dealing with something you have no clue about. Um, you know, that person that comes in and into your office and it just seems to piss you off, um, you may have no clue that they're dealing with, you know, a loss in their um, family or that their two-year-old kept them up all night and they only got 20 minutes of sleep or that they're, you know, it could be worse. They could be dealing with some kind of uh, violence within the home. You know, you, you really don't know what that person's struggle is. Um, so if you look at that through a different set of eyes, knowing that, you know, even even I hurt. Even you know, I here I am trying to be a leader and a coach to other people and help other people all the time get better, grow, and do um, do more things and live more happy, healthy, full, you know, more fulfilling lives. You know, I still have pain. I still have struggles. I still have bad days. I still have frustrations. Okay, so it never goes away. Everybody deals with that. So once you look at people as just um, having a heart for humanity and knowing that. You know, hurt people hurt people and that's an opportunity for you to step up um, and uh, you know take your guard down because 99.999% of the time uh, their beef's not with you it's with whatever uh, they're dealing with so um, I don't know I hope uh, I hope you find this helpful I just wanted to get this out today I love you guys uh, stay safe um, have fun and we'll talk to you soon bye